Oh, it's a good one. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, good to see me. Welcome to another episode of HP Kids TV. Um, you're probably wondering what, uh, what I am doing here. Well, I tell you, I am practicing for a very important contest coming up soon. It is the first ever seed spitting contest of Louisiana. Can you believe? So we're going to, oh, I dropped one. So it's going to be a great big prize. I'm going to get so much good stuff uh, from this prize. Do you know what I'm getting? I'm going to tell you. I am getting a gift card to my favorite store. It's called Wall Store. Yes, very good store. $38.17 on the gift card. I know, it's a crazy number, but that's what I, I'm going to win. That's what's on the line here. So I've been practicing my seed spitting, right? So watch. Woo, that was a good one. Went a long way. It, um, it's kind of hard to spit. You see with the mustache, it messes up my aim. And aim is very important because you got, you know, you got the one lane that you got to spit the seeds into, right? And if you go outside the bounds, you don't get the points, right? So the way it works, I get two spits and then my opponent, he get two spits or maybe she, I don't know. And, uh, you know, we wait and see who is the winner, who spit it the furthest. Do you know the furthest ever pumpkin seed spit was like 57 feet. Can you believe 57 feet? I can barely go 10 feet. So I'm practicing so that I can win this contest. It's very good, very good. Oh, that was a pretty good one too. Okay, so this is a pretty good spot we've been spitting in. I um, feel like maybe I'm not getting the, the distance I need here. I think I'm gonna try some more spots, okay? So let's go move around. Uh, let's see, where? Oh, you know what? Right over here. It'd be a good spot, okay. Because it's kind of like the lane, right? The lane on whip upon which I shall speed later. So, okay. Let's see how far we can get here. Let's see. You ready? Here we go. Oh, that was a good one. Okay. Woo! This is a much better spot. I love it. Come on. <laughs> yes! You know what else might help? My my distance, okay? If I do a little bit of stretching. So it's very important to stay limber when you're spitting at a seat. You don't want to pull a muscle. That can end your career right there. So, um, okay, first stretch, very important. You gotta keep the neck nice and limber, right? So, you gotta do it like this. Can you do this? Kind of like, I don't know, like a circus seal or something. Okay, stretch the neck, right? Really good. And you also, you want to lunge with the seat with your whole body, right? So you gotta bend down and jump. Bend down and jump and you keep with the neck going at the same time. So you try that, okay? Everybody stand up. We do this together. Bend down. One, two, three, jump. Oh, yeah. One more time. Okay, one, two, three, jump. Oh, whew. you're really good at this. Okay. Now, I got the distance. I got the limberness. Very really good. Um, let's see. You know what? There's some spots around here I think would be good too. Okay, you see? Got some good rocks in the soil, right? So we had the good grass over there and the path. Over here was good. Now we're gonna try these rocks right here. See if maybe I can get a good bounce off of the rocks. Get a little extra distance. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah! Good, good, very good. Okay, let's keep going. Whoop, I drop it. Oh yeah, that's a good bounce off of the rocks. Oh, mustache. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, good rock bounce. One more time. <laughs> okay. All right. This is going pretty well. I'm looking forward to all of this. You know, we got some thorns over there. I'm not going to spit in the thorns. That's gross. Oh, oh. Hold on. I'm getting a phone call. Hello? Yes. Oh, hello, doctor. How are you today? Very good. Oh, I'm, I'm doing nothing. I'm practicing for a uh, seed spitting contest later. Yeah, no, I'm going to win $38.17. It's going to be so amazing. Yeah, I know. What? No. No, 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 no. These, these pumpkin seeds will not grow. 
They're not going to grow. Now, what are you talking about? Uh, they're on the path, right? They're in the rocks, in the thorns. I mean, some of it fell on good soil, but no. Well, maybe. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, yeah. I do remember that story. That is a good story. Yes, the parable of the sower. You remember the parable of the sower? It's a good one. Okay, yes, uh, we will go read the parable of the sower. And uh, yeah, but no, I don't think any of this stuff is going to grow, though. No, it's not going to grow. It's going to be fine. Okay, thank you, Dr. Hansel Frankenbrain. Okay, goodbye. Love you, too. Bye. Okay, that was the doctor. He reminded me of this really cool Bible story about seeds that fell on the path and on the thorns and on the rocks and on the good soil. So you know what? I think we need to go and look at that story. Mm-hmm, I do. Uh, so, you want to do that? Yeah, let's do it. You know what that means, huh? 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 To the Bible room! Let's go! Let's go to the Bible room. Don't forget to find the book first. Then you use the big number for the chapter and the little number for the verse. This is the story of a cute little flower. Well, actually, four cute little flowers. That's right. Each little flower got planted on a different kind of soil. Hmm. The first little flower got planted on the path. Oh, so hard and concretey. The little flower could not grow because the ground was too hard. In fact, a bird came and stole the little flower. Run, flower, run! The second flower, oh, he landed on the rocks. That's right, rocks everywhere. Ground was very hard, and, but there was a little bit of dirt, and so he grew a little bit, and his uh, little roots kind of got out there and get the water and the good stuff and the nutrients and stuff. But then the sun came, and because his roots were so shallow, the sun burned up the little plant, and he could not grow either. The third little flower landed on the thorny ground. Oh, many thorns. So the little flower grew big and strong, but the thorns also grow big and strong, and they choke out the little plant. Oh, oh, get him, get him, oh no. Oh, that little plant could not grow either. Finally, the last one, the fourth little flower, he landed on the good soil. Oh, so good. And his roots went down deep, and he had the good water, and he had the good nutrients and the good sunlight, and he grew so big and strong. And not only him, but he multiplied 100 times. So now there's a whole bunch of little flowers. Oh, look at them all. It's so beautiful. So that is the story of the four little plants. The end. Okay, okay, so, um, looks like I was wrong. Those pumpkin seeds that I was spitting everywhere, they can totally grow. But only if they landed on the good soil, right? Some of them land on the path, some of them land on the thorns, some of them land on the rocks. Well, I didn't really spit on the thorns, but you get the idea. But the ones that land on the good soil, they're gonna grow. I'm gonna have pumpkins everywhere. Hmm, I better start learning how to make a pumpkin pie. But what does this have to do with, uh, you know, you and me and coming to church today? And what are we learning here? Well, the disciples, they asked Jesus the exact same question when he told them this story. They're like, uh, Jesus, what, uh, what does this mean? And so he tells them. He said, the four kinds of soil represent four kinds of people. Ooh. And more specifically, four kinds of people's hearts. That's right. He said that the seed that was being planted was like the Word of God, the message of salvation through Jesus Christ. For some people, it lands on their hearts, but their hearts are hard. And that's the first kind of soil, the path. The path represents people who have hard hearts. And the bird that comes to steal, that represents the devil, come to snatch away the good news about Jesus before it can take root. Oh, the second kind of soil, it represents people who have a little bit of faith, right? That's the rocky soil, and the roots don't go down very deep. That means they have a little bit of faith, but then the sun come and burn them up, and the sun represents persecution. Sometimes it is hard to be a Christian because other people make fun of you, or you have to make choices 
that are difficult to make and you just, ah, you burn up, it's too hard. Well, that's the second kind of soil. The third kind of soil is the thorny soil. And that represents all of the troubles and the cares of this world. You know, trying to be successful, trying to be popular, trying to be rich, right? All of these things can squeeze out our love for Jesus, just like the thorns choke out the little plant. But finally, the fourth kind of soil, it represents good hearts who hear the word of God and are transformed and can grow the word of God in their hearts and multiply the word of God until it's a great harvest. Woo! That's what we've been talking about all month, right? The great harvest that we can get if we will be faithful and do what God says. Whoa, okay. What does this mean for you and me? Well, it means this. We cannot make our hearts good soil. We cannot do this. Only the Holy Spirit can do it. Without Him, we are all hard or rocky or thorny ground, and the gospel cannot grow in us. But by the transforming power of His Holy Spirit, He can make us into good soil so that what gets planted in us will grow and multiply and become an amazing harvest for everyone to see. And that is today's bottom line, kids. After we plant, we can party. That's right. We talk about waiting and the patience, right? That God plant things in our lives and we got to wait to see it come forth. But he promises it will. And you and me, we're going to see a great blessing and a great harvest of all the good things he planted in our lives. Just you wait and see. You're going to see it. Your family going to see it. And guess what? What God does in you, he promises he can do in those around us as well. So, you know how before I was like, oh, pfft, those seeds will never grow. They'll never grow. Sometimes we look at our lives or we look at the people around us and we think, oh, God, you could never do anything for them. You could never change their heart. You could never use them to do great things for the kingdom. But God says, yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can change them. I can make them good soil. I can make the gospel grow in their hearts like you would not even believe. Whoa, and that is good news for you and me. God promises that we will see a great harvest and celebrate all the amazing things that he has done in our lives. Huh? Whoa, that is some good news. Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to go practice spitting some more seeds. That $38.17 is going to be all mine. I'm going to buy a brand new llama cup so I can drink my hot cocoa and celebrate Christmas this year, celebrating with the good llamas. Yes, I love it so much. Okay, I love you. It's going to be a great day today. We may be little people, but guess what? We serve a big God, huh? Bye!